Now here is the MCD original part. So this is the MCD. It's for the one fifth scale four wheel drive. Uh, here's a part number if you are playing it, playing up at home. Nine hundred one zero one X five series electric motor conversion kit. Now what it includes is a battery tray. Obviously you're going to be running two LiPo batteries. Now I might need to trim these edges to fit my eight thousand milliamp hour batteries. That's no biggie. Uh, battery straps, so you need two of those. One, two. Nice little uh, pamphlet here tells you what's going on. Now, a good thing about MCD, I know the, you know you can convert it to a buggy, a, I think a short course, on road, all that kind of cool stuff. So basically, here, so we need the original the motor housing, and then your motor sits into that, I believe. Now you don't need the um, you don't need to run your brakes if you don't want to. Um, you don't, yeah, you don't. Well, you don't need that battery tray and all that kind of stuff. You can get rid of all that now. You can use the yeah, motor, uh, engine braking from your electric motor to slow it down because you'll be getting rid of a lot of weight once you get rid of the fuel tank and the motor itself. Now, here are the brackets and your clamps, all that kind of stuff. Nicely machined, the quality looks really good. Now if anyone's done this, let me know in the comments please. But there we go, wow that's really light. So it's going to clamp around your motor. Wow it's so light. Various hardware, yeah, I think it's just like a space zone and all that kind of stuff. I haven't read up on it yet, just, I just got it in, so I was excited, I'll just show you guys. Various other mounts and stuff like that, and I believe that's the one that to the front of the motor to the existing plate just there on the motor which is that guy right there so this donk's gonna go I'll get rid of it 36 cc it went well but uh, yeah brushes is just cool I've seen some brushes videos on this and uh, I've got a lot of eight uh, two forest batteries I've got heaps of forest batteries lying around so I might as well convert it to this guy and uh, send this motor in a new home. Johnny can have this one for his projects and uh, he's a big gas guy so it's going to a, uh, a very good home. Johnny can use this guy so I think next what I'm going to do, I'm going to rip this motor out. It's no point showing, it's just a few screws at the bottom. Rip it out and then we clean it up and then we can make room and see how we're going to go for the brush conversion because I've still I've got to get the 800 kb motor for this and uh, what do you guys think? ZTW, um, I know it can run in this, no worries, but I know a Max 5 can as well. They're really reliable. You know, Hobby Wing's awesome nowadays. So um, it's not too heavy. People saying go 12S, but I'll see how much it weighs without this motor. And I think 8S should be plenty enough for this guy. Okay, now, taking out the uh, gasser, and you're left with this. So once you take it out from under the chassis, obviously, you take the motor off, you're left with this, the bottom plate and the front housing, which you need because you're going to be attaching your brushless motor of choice. And I'm using this Dynamite 800 kV DYNS1665. More than enough power for this bad boy. And also recycled this fantastic uh, Castle Creations uh, Mamba XL 1 5th scale ESC. This thing is more than enough for this car and it's a bit overkill, but it's perfect. It's a great combination. So all you need to do, you need to reuse this plate, obviously. That sits on the uh, on the base as it would. This goes here. Now in the kit you also get, you know, you've got to you use this shaft. It runs through here with the ball bearing. Runs through, you've got to make sure you use that washer. This bracket here mounts to the front of your engine, sorry, of your motor. And then that mounts up to there pretty easily. Now you also get this support for the for the back of the motor which you slide on very easily and various other supports. Pretty simple stuff. End of the day, it's got to look like that. And that's all the instructions you get with it. So there's that round clamp at the back of the motor, uh, motor mount and all that kind of other good stuff. So that's all it is. You use the existing pinion, fat ass pinion there. And that just bolts to the front of the motor there. So what I'll do, I'll get all that cinched up. It's nothing too exciting. And uh, probably there's hundreds of these on the, on the YouTube anyway. So I'll hook that up and I'll see how it looks. All right, before I cinch it all down, I just want to show you a little bit of a tip. 
Now it's really beefy, um, you can see this, this whole mount system, but it has a dual grub screw, there's a lock on the actual shaft of the motor which is awesome, but it gives you one access point and what I found, you can't access that the, the one that's most forward, so when you're installing this in the actual car, if I can do it one handed, you want to make sure you push the bearing up as far as you can see because it's got like a little lip on the shaft here. Push it all the way up and then tighten this, the grub screw that has the access hole. Then pull it out and then you can tighten both of them up. And you know because then that distance is, uh, is correct for this actual spacer. Because if you, if you tighten this up, get some focus, if you tighten this down without checking that spacer, that, uh, that little lip against that bearing, you might be too proud and you might be able to push the motor to uh, as far as it can. So just do that tip and uh, yeah, it should be good to go. And when it's all said and done, it should look something like that. The only thing I have left to do is tighten up this rear support bracket. But the funny thing is, it's got tinted countersunk screws because it sits flush with the uh, bottom of the chassis. Just like that, and the good thing about it, because it's using the stock pinion and uh, spur, you don't need to change any of the mesh. As you can see, look, I've just put it in there nicely, and if you need to, you've got this little mechanism here. If you want to change that, you pull that out, and you kind of clock it, and it moves it over. But from when you put them in, it's fine. Perfect. It's got a nice, I love that little bell sound. But yeah, so once that's in, you just set this rear bracket up, and you know, you tighten this one down, tighten that one down. Problem is, because it's countersunk, so you need countersunk screws, and they sent button heads, so that's not going to. Sorry, cap head. Sorry, so that's not going to work. So I have to find my stash because I didn't I checked in the bottom of the bag. They don't have them. Check nowhere. They don't have them. So I should have, hopefully, have some of these uh, in countersunk. And once I do, I'll lock it away, and then we can move on to the ESC because that's it. So. Uh, one other tip, you got this little, I'm not too sure what exactly this is, but a little plastic part that sits in between here. Make sure you put that on before you tighten everything up. Ask me how I know. And uh, correct, you got a, you have a wash in between here or a spacer, your uh, pinion, another small washer, and then your lock nut at the front. So just make sure that's in that correct order. And that's it, I'll lock it down, find some uh, countersunks, screw this bad boy down, and then we can move on to the ESC. Okay guys, got everything installed, I kind of jumped ahead and got everything buttoned up and uh, out of the way, but uh, as you can see here, I have the castle mounted this way because the wires were too short if I was going to run the battery, I didn't want to solder up any new battery uh, connections at the uh, moment, but that's fine, it looks pretty cool like that, it gives me some room here to mount anything here that I need to, but everything is nicely hardware fixed as you can see. Nicely cable tied all the way around here into the radio box and ready to go, I did solder the new bullets on, they're bloody massive, but uh, I think they're 8mm bullets, but everything is good. We're going to hook it up to the castle and then make sure the voltages are all correct for the servos, nothing um, going to overpower anything. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do about this brake. I'll see how it performs without this, uh, uh, what is it, the servo brake that's normally on the gas one. If the motor's running fine and doesn't get too hot, um, and the same with the ESC, then I'll just leave it and I'll take it out. If not, maybe I can mix it into the brake channel to give it an extra boost, because it does have two disc brakes there as well. So, hook everything up, make sure everything runs right next time we see it. We'll put it on and give it its uh, first test on, let's go 8S I think. Yeah, 8S. Hello. The crazy behind the camera. I'm not too sure exactly where I'm up to with this build because it's been, how long? Months. Months. To convert it to years. Years, you could say. Kraken, yes. Kraken months. It has. But um, this was, I would have said in the beginning of the video when I started this conversion, uh, what was it, the Roven... F5? Yeah, what, what CC? Twin... 30... 30? 40... 45? No, nah, I can't remember, man. I think it was 29 or 30. Anyway, we converted it over to... And you would have seen it in the previous clips. But the Castle... What, Castle Creation Mamba XLX. XL. XLX. And a huge ass motor here. Um, I was trying to get it working with the stock transmitter, but there was issues with the, uh, I think the endpoints weren't fine enough for this. The transmitter that came with it wasn't as good. So we've got a Fataba in here. It works well. Everything is plugged up, ready to go. As you can see, let's have a bit of a run uh, overview. 
brake servo is still in there, we don't need it. We'll see how the actual system works. I think this is probably more than enough. Okay. Yeah, it was. It was. That's the uh, stock DBXLE. The motor. Motor. Yep, it's a stock it's a DBXLE. Dynamite 800 kV. Uh, that's it, 800 kV. 8S. Two, well, we're on 2.4S, so it's going to give us 8S of power. Um, and this is a conversion kit from, uh, what's it, what are they called again? MCD, is it? I believe. Anyway, they fit the Roman. So, half now I think we've got to shut up Luke Ray and actually see how it works. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, Because Luke Ray hasn't seen this yet. No. Even if I've seen it go, it sounds freaking Baller. crazy when it goes. Yeah, man. The, the mesh on those gearing sounds. It scared the shit out of us. It did. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It's raining outside, but that's perfect for this because yeah. we'll, we'll just take it to the netball course. Yeah, um, see how it goes. Give it a good old thrasheroo. Run it like we stole it. See what breaks, see what lasts, <coughs> see how long these tyres actually last because yeah. I sure as shit don't think they're going to hold up. They are, they are bead locks, but uh, yeah, so... I make for petrol, so... I hopefully I put all the videos that I did before in order to mm. where we are. So basically, the conversion was simple. I showed you how to do it. It um, comes with the brackets and all that kind of stuff. You have to kind of retrofit some of the old parts. Um, that's about it. Some people might be wondering why I've located the uh, ESC like that. It's just, I was going to do it this direction. Uh, it's just because I didn't want to redo all these soldering uh, wing, uh, you know, connectors again. So these all just fit like a ball one. And uh, yeah, I think it's all ready to go. It's all stock. What do you reckon? Yeah. All right, let's take it out in the field. Let's give it a good old rip. Oh, you hit my car, bro. Got a bit more power than the uh... <laughs> <laughs> then the what? The petrol one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yep. Definitely, uh, definitely boogie. Forgot I was on the camera. Ah, shaky, shaky. Off road. <laughs> yep. I'm going to do a bit of drifting down here. You know what's funny thing about it? It's got a bit of ground, like about an inch of ground clearance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, -ho! this guy. Let's see if we can hit these poles. <laughs> <laughs> I told Steve he's got to drift that. <laughs> oh, these big. That's pretty big. It's you know, kind of hard to get a size comparison. That's pretty big. Looks pretty good, though. Is that your podium picture? How's that brake, Steve? That's right. That's full brake, so that's what setting about 70%? Oh. I need to put my stock setting. Bloody kids. Oh, oh, oh. Trying to lose me. There's got a bit of ground clearance. 
Where are you? Right. You hate this colour body, you hate it anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, whatever. Can I want to use this gun? Yeah, you gotta drift that pole. Oh, okay. boo! <laughs> Something doesn't sound too good on those tyres. Come on. Turning yeah. radius. Can't give it a turn. That's good, huh? <laughs> so I roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so I think we got a bit of delay with the throttle. Yeah. These puddles could be conveniently placed here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh where are you? Where are you? Oh there you are. You got me? No, not you. But it's off. Definitely haven't, though. Deaths. Oh, a stone in the, uh, in the back of the leg. <laughs> no pressure. Okay, let's get some nice low ones, though. Oh, I'm doing my part. <laughs> we said the paddle. Where are you going? Oh, let me get, I'll go right in the paddle. Here we go. Here we go. One handed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sure, don't want to go, Lucas? Sure, say go. Yeah, there you go, here. Yeah. Get back up, cake. Alright, let's try, Luke. Let's see, Luke Ray. Oh, you're oh, going oh, right for those bollards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I might put it on training mode. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so easy. Yeah, it's pretty good, though, eh? What are you doing? Heard of uh, throttle control? Yeah. It's not a, it's not a myth. It does exist. Yeah, I think it's a myth. Yeah, it's a myth. Yeah, it's a myth. Ah, dearly. Luke Ray hates the colour of his body, eh? With a passion. Wow. MCD, that's right, there's, there's some nice MCD bodies. That's it, oh. Hey. <laughs> you made that in the car. Yeah, I did, eh? It's just, I was using my other hand. <laughs> hey. Surprised these tyres are holding up, eh? And obviously, guys, this isn't the perfect uh, spot for it, but it's a bit too wet in the other spot. So we just, you know, we couldn't do a, a conversion video without actually showing driving, but this is actually a pretty good test for these tyres. Turn, the, turn them towards me. Out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, getting, they're getting nice and warm, but what I was concerned about is that they'll be coming off the rim. And they're not at all. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Pretty damn good. 
I'm liking it. That thing looks pretty sweet. But shit ass traction. Shit ass traction? Yeah. Yeah, of course. And it's also wet. You know. That also plays a part. Don't want to know about your personal life, Steve. <laughs> they didn't say moist. Go, 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 go! Ah. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Dead like them apples. It does handle quite well though. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep it on. Yeah. Did you actually break? Nah, man. Why? Why? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder when you hit that blue thing, maybe that's why. <laughs> Cut off. No way! There were 5,000 milliamps. Oh yeah, true. So it's... I think, I think that is lipo cut off. Yeah. Yeah, what did we set it to? Oh man. 3.4? Yeah, I think it was. On the castle lake. Let's have a look inside. Lake. Let's have a look at the... Uh... Let's have a good old... Uh... You can use your tongue and test how hot it is. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've put my tongue somewhere where I shouldn't, Steve. Mm -hmm. So it's got... I was saying to Luke Ray, the, at least when it's electric, you don't have to worry about kind of getting nervous and undoing all these, and then you put everything on, mm. and what happens? <laughs> so, yes, I do love um, the noise of petrol and all that, but you can see how mad it happens. Yeah. And that's stock settings. Hey! Now, what we have here is a lawnmower. Wow. I'm going to take that home for me, Luke Crane. <laughs> what do you reckon? Okay, let's have a look. It is, it is a bit, it is a bit warm, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. That is quite hot. I guess the air, there's not much airflow in that as well, eh? Nah. Because it's got like these, what are they, splitters? So it does stop a lot of the air. And you can see the uh, fair bit of grass build up. But the batteries haven't puffed, which is a bonus. Running gear, it does seem pretty nice, and we still have the brake server if we need to. But nah, this don't need ESC it. done a pretty damn good job. The ESC is not hot at all. That's uh, that's you know. But that's typical of Castle anyway. Castle are really good quality, obviously. Um, but this motor, it's just a, need a bloody hot, off button. It's a bloody, it's a motor. It's supposed to get a bit hot. Mm. Apart from that, what do you reckon? Well, it was an easy conversion because I didn't have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you bring all your stuff to my house anyway. But no. I'm pretty impressed with the stock steering so yeah. they weren't really that that crap, to be honest. They were well. But uh, And we were feathering the throttle, weren't we? Well, yeah. I was. <laughs> <laughs> but I think um, pretty good. Yeah. I think uh, what do you reckon leave it there? I'm gonna not I'm gonna let this Dry, easier to probably clean it when it's, uh, yeah, when it's. Or just get the gurney and just. Let's do a one-hour one video on how yeah, to yeah, clean. Yeah, clean an <laughs> but, uh, Stage and step by step. Hmm. All right. Well, on that uh, on that note, I reckon that's it. If you like the conversion video, if you like seeing these, uh, let us know. Um, I think it goes well. Like I said, Luke Ray loves his uh, petrol cars. Mm -hmm. So do I. But you can just see how easy, and you still have fun with when you convert them into something like this. It's just a powerhouse. Yeah. It's instant power. Well, you're buying brushless for the power, aren't you? Yeah. Isn't and, it? You're not hiding the fact. And this this setup isn't really cheap as well, so you've got to put that in, into consideration. Yeah. Those, those Rover motors you can get for like 150 bucks. Or something. Yeah. You can get a Max 5, what, for like, what do we pay? 250, 300 Australian? I oh, know, yeah. I oh, know, you got a crack of a deal, so. Yeah. And then your motors now. So I reckon you could get it, just your electronics. 500? Yeah. Five what? Gotta, That's Australian. Gotta, yeah, then you got to get your batteries, obviously. Yeah. And these are 50C constant, I think 100C burst. So you've got to put that into consideration. Yeah. You want some decent batteries. But, uh, but you're assuming that guys that are going to buy this, um, you could happen. buy it for your first, I suppose, brushless conversion, couldn't you? Well, and an on-road car, because... Yeah. This is four-wheel drive, and you saw it handled pretty well. Mm-hmm. 
had a lot of... It, it was pretty fun. The tyres are nice and warm, actually. I wonder why. <laughs> but it, it, it's got a little bit of a toe-in, toe-out issue here. I think we need to put it in for wheel alignment. <laughs> the fronts obviously don't spin up as much, but the rears, you can see they've, they've dug in a bit, but that was pretty fun. We also found, like, with the, the electronic safe sleeve that we needed to put something in a bit more... Substantial? Substantial. Yeah. We're having a few little glitch issues, but... Well, you can't go wrong with the Max 5 with this, or this. Or the yeah. Mother, I'd, the personally, I'd, I'd put a Max 5. I did have a Max 5. Oh, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good deal, too, by Why the way. you put that in? Oh, the DBXLE, but I found that I left it in there. So I, I, I did buy a Max 5 for this. Yes. But Luca had this, and I thought, we'll just try with this. Yeah. He can have the, he can have the uh, Max 5. It works fine. I'll leave this in there. Happy days. But all right, I think the video's been long enough. I'm not too sure how long the other videos have gone for this conversion part, but we could not not... Uh, Finish it and get it running, so we'll do a speed run with this next. Yeah, why not? We'll go back to the old speed and run. Uh... What we'll do, we'll definitely lower it. This is just stock setup, so definitely we'll lower it a good old half an inch or so. Because this it does have quite nice aerodynamics, it has a good front splitter, has a nice, what would you call this on the side? I forgot uh, what they call those things. Okay. Diffusers. Diffusers, yeah, diffuser. It does have a diffuser, and it's also got the ones on the side as well to help kind of, I guess it might help suck it down a bit, but we'll definitely we'll lower it. It does have group, droop screws and you can also adjust the shocks, but uh, happy days. Hope you guys like the video. If you haven't, click that thumbs up button and uh, a little notification bell so you get notified of all the latest and greatest videos and some more Raminator footage as well coming up. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs> <Today. laughs> Alright guys, cheers guys. Have See you later. Have a good video.